Greetings and welcome to a Center for Enlightenment production brought to you by Matholomew, the Center for Enlightenment's minister. At its center we are a church. The church has at its center the Eucharist or the body of Christ. It wasn't until 1600 that uh, the Catholic Church instated the transubstantiation. That is, for those of you who don't know, the uh, oh, Google the God that is whispered or said over bread and water and wine to turn it into the body of Christ. So what did they do for the 1600 years that preceded that? I'll tell you what they did. They used an unleavened bread. At least they did when they could, when they weren't persecuted for it. That unleavened bread rose without any yeast. Um, that was the Eucharist, the body of Christ, which creates a natural union or communion between man, humankind, and God. This is the psilocybin mushroom and there's plenty of artwork in the Bible, as well as in the Christian churches, as well as in the archaeological record, which illustrates that psilocybin and opium were used. Now, what I want to talk about tonight, which is a special night, this is August 13th, the year 2008, and uh, currently Russia is uh, oh, manhandling, attacking, rolling over with tanks, Georgia, while the Summer Olympics are going on and people are focused on Beijing. This is the prelude to World War III, but uh, we'll get to that when, that when that comes to us. The Red Horse, or the Chinese Communist Russian Front, opposes the Western Bloc and the uh, neocon Illuminati. So I want to read to you from the Essenes. Uh, this is from a, a brother out in Arkansas, the Rose Chapel College. And the Essenes were a group of people. There were the Pharisees the Sadducees and the Essenes, and both the Sadducees and the Pharisees were recorded in the Bible as coming against Christ, trying to prove him wrong, and they failed, but the group that didn't come against them was the Essenes, and that's valuable because, um, well, as you'll see, the scene is different than you expected. The Hebrews did know about psychedelic drugs, uh, as their, you know, if you look at their temple columns, they're covered with opium leaves. So here's a statement by Josephus, which uh, zeitgeist, a New World Order, uh, New World Religion movie, uh, is trying to disprove. Uh, so Josephus says this about the Essenes. Some of the Essenes undertook to predict the future by, pre -using, by using sacred books and by performing various acts of purification and by digesting prophetic oracles. Well, psilocybin is a digestible prophetic oracle. So there you have an ipso facto that the Hebrews had a school of the prophets and that they used these medicines, these God-endowed names of angels to commune with the divine and to correct their own erring ways. Uh, that's all I have to say about that, and that's probably all we have time for. I want you to check out my podcast. I've been kind of absent from the video world for a while because I've been working on podcasts. You can get them at Heavenly Mana, H-E-A-V-E-N-L-Y-M-A-N-N-A dot com. And they are, Heavenly Mana is named after the hidden mana of Revelation. For those who overcome will be given the right to eat from the tree of life. Good night and God bless you and keep you.